Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Injustice Gods Among Us issue 7. Um, only a couple more issues away until the end of this book. I think it's one or two more issues until the end of Injustice Gods Among Us. But before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course I have Comic You Know episode 81, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We have Smallville issue 2, Features End issue 37, Daredevil issue 12, Silver Surfer issue 8, Captain Marvel issue 11, Batman Journal issue 41, Earth 2 World's End issue 15, and Just League United issue 8. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 81, which is annotated. But let's talk about Injustice Gods Among Us, year 3, issue 7. This cover made me excited. You know, I was really looking forward to seeing this Lois and Clark and baby uh, Lara, which we find out her name in this issue, uh, and see the what if story. I, you know, I really wasn't sure what this issue was going to be about. I was like, oh, happy ending for Clark. This does not seem like an Injustice Gods Among Us issue. Uh, but let's see what happened. Very cool cover. Let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, it is a what-if issue. Um, Clark is still in this sedated magic spell state that we saw in the last issue. And uh, this sedated state is him having his happily ever after. How about if Lois didn't die? How about if he didn't kill the Joker? How about if he didn't do all these bad things? And we see Clark as a father and Bruce killed the Joker and, you know, the aftermath of that and how he kills the Joker and the world doesn't end because uh, he deals with it in a different way. Um, and the world being a better place because, you know, Superman had a child and Lois is president, Wonder Woman is Secretary of State, uh, Wonder Woman and Batman are married, and he's happy. And that's the end of the issue, and we all know this is not going to be the end of the series, but it's definitely a, a really great what-if issue. Uh, what issue. Uh, so what I think of this overall, I love this issue. It was so good. Um, I think it's also something I really like about Injustice Gods Among Us in general is the comparison of Batman and Superman. You know, we all compare Batman and Superman. The movie's coming out soon. That will definitely compare Batman and Superman. Uh, but here it shows that when Lois died, we know what happened. You know, Superman went crazy. Uh, Batman kills the Joker. But I guess, you know, he's gone through so much grief. He's He knows he has to do his time. He reveals that he's Batman. And he just wants to help his friend. And I think... That's such a big moment, because you know when Superman did bad, the world ended pretty much, you know? Their friendship ended, their enemies. But here, you know, Batman kills the Joker, and it's completely different. They're, they're best friends. Um, and I, that, that was just such a strong moment, I, I thought, for the issue. Um, just showing the difference of Batman and Superman. You would think the doom and gloom guy, if he killed somebody, uh, you know, stuff would happen. But it was Superman who made the world go go bad. So uh, I, I really like the comparison of that and Batman saying, you know, I'm going to do my time. I want you to be happy. It just shows that that strong friendship. Uh, and then, you know, Superman being a father uh, is just so many great moments there. Superman and Lois together. Uh, Lois becoming president. You know, there's just so many great what if stories here uh, with wonderful artwork, uh, great dialogue from Tom Taylor. It was just a really great send off in a way. I don't know if this is Tom Taylor's last issue, but if it is, uh, it's a great send off. So Injustice Guys Among Us, uh, year three, issue seven, gets my pick of the week. It was a really great issue. And for me, I thought it was a flawless issue. There was nothing wrong with it. So it's a great one shot. If you did never read Injustice in your life, this is really easy to pick on, uh, pick up. And uh, maybe you wouldn't understand why he's unconscious, but other than that, I think this is a really easy pickup, and uh, I'm giving Injustice Gods Among Us five stars. Uh, this is my pick of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno. Uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.